and and you are you are tapping onto uh, one one other philosophical um, argument that I have about about this whole idea of uh, of um, on demand, and um, so the the very aspect of who is responsible for empowering a talent, right? So so you talked about the, uh, uh, like how much you are take, taking a front seat when it comes to empowering the talent that you are managing, or or or, or that are coming coming through your funnel. So from uh, from your vantage point, if you see how, the, however, this freelance economy is improving, do you see more and more um, uh, sort of responsibility shift from organizations to sort of this mid-layer uh, services that ensures that the quality and the and the quantity of the talent uh, stays top-notch when it comes to their I'm curious because I think uh, so. One argument why I say that is so there was, there's a huge interesting story that uh, there was one gentleman who got fired from a company and he was rated five years as a, as an engineer of the year award. He got in, in in a very big company, IT company, and he was let go. And I took his resume, I gave it to another company, and that company said this guy is obsolete. And so and this guy is a startup. This company is a startup. Uh, now purchased by Apple, so it was pretty different. So, and he said, "This company where I was working, they treated me as the best, right? So, should I sue the company that when they treat me at the best, why why am I obsolete when it comes to the when I the moment I come out, right? So, who is responsible because they were paying me? They want to make sure that I exist gainfully, uh, and and where is the where is the ethical argument that who is responsible for a, a talent?" Being top notch, so I'm curious. What's your what's your take on it? So, ultimately, I think the talent is responsible for keeping the talent skills up to speed. But if you're negotiating a job offer and you are somebody who does need to keep, of course, we all do your personal and professional development, your growth, your growth skills need to be kept up, and you haven't asked in going into the company. What's your stance on personal and professional development? Is there a budget to take classes or attend conferences or whatever whatever format it is? That's on you. I mean, I you know, I, not everybody cares about that, but it, to to look around and say, oh, they said I was great and now I'm not employable. Like he, this, it sounds like this gentleman was great for what they needed at the time, and certainly it would be nice if he was a great employee. It would have been wise for them to say. Let me get you trained on something. The call I had right before you was with one of our, our our marketing team. And there's this concept called newsjacking. It's not important to go into it. Anybody can look it up. Um, it's new to him. Um, it's not completely old to us. It's fairly new to us. And I said, take this week and go become an expert at this. Put Do it on the clock. I, I want to be paying you for this. But, you know, go go get great at this so we can we can take advantage of it. You know, if 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 a company's not doing that, if they're not investing in their people, all right, I have a great way to flip this around. I believe that the best investments I've ever made in my life are all in me. They're learning new things, being more efficient, managing my time better. I still spend a lot of time just trying to optimize myself, and I'm pretty optimized, but I still feel like there's more there's more wiggle room. So that's what I do for myself because that is such a good investment in me. If I'm a company. The best investment I can make is in my people to make sure they're performing really well. And companies that don't do that, that's a tissue. We'll just hire somebody else. And that's fine. Mm. So that's, that's, a, that's a philosophy. That's a way to go. I'm not, it's not how I choose to believe we should be, but that's okay. But you're going to have turnover and turnover is expensive. Turnover is really, really, really expensive. 